Welcome back to Tug to Rugs. This is Travis here. So I've been getting a lot of messages about cleaning your rug. How to clean your rug. Can you put it in a washing machine? Do you have to hand wash it? Like, how do you clean it? I don't know. So you already know Tug's Rugs always do all the videos of, of experiencing things, man. So we're going to experience um, putting these rugs to the test. In, uh, in the washing machine. So I'm at the laundromat now because I did not want to put them in my washing machine because um, I don't want to tear it up. I don't know what's going to happen. So we're going to take this thing to the laundromat, let them do it with it. But um, let me show you the rugs I have because I have three different types of rugs. All right, so all of these rugs are uh, um, tucked on a burlap. So not them tucked on primary cloth. So we have the regular um, rug here. I do not have it shaved down. Um, I have this one shaved down right here. So we're gonna see what's it like, um, how would it withstand with it not shaved down? How would it uh, withstand with it shaved down? And then this one right here, we have um, we have cut pal, and then we have um, loop pal in the middle. So we're gonna see how this would stand um, in the washing machine as well. So let's go ahead and get these things in the washing machine. Let's go. All right, I'm using this uh, Pure X um, 4-in-1 Oxy uh, Bright Cleaner and I'm putting it in the queen size washing machine because I have three rubs. So we're gonna go ahead and get these on in there. As you can see, they're pretty dirty, so. Just get them things put in there, make sure they fit. I forgot to talk about the backing. So this one here is my two-sided backing. So we're gonna see how this would hold. Um, this right here is a um, a um, non-slip backing right there as well. So all right. So I simply put it on the normal wash, and it is getting washed right now. So it's gonna take about 24 minutes or 23 now, and um, yeah, we're gonna see what happens. All done. Let's see what we got done. Oh shoot! All right, let's take these things out. All right. So what I noticed, kind of bunched it up a little bit. I don't know if you can kind of see the wrinkles in it. Um, the backing stayed on pretty good on this rug here. So we're gonna see what it's gonna uh, would it go back flat when you dry it. But as far as cleaning it, it cleaned it pretty good as you can see. Look at that. All the yarn is still in there. And this is machine wash. So what we're about to get ready to do now, we're gonna throw it in the dryer. And then uh, we're gonna see what happens, man. Hopefully it flats back out. Uh, hopefully it don't like mess up the back and or burn it, but we're gonna see. I don't see because it's non slip backing on the back. So let's put this thing in a big dryer real quick. It's kind of loud on here, y'all, but um, I'm going to put it on medium. I don't want to put it on high because I don't know what it's going to do, but we're going to put it on medium. We're going to put two quarters in. I don't know how many minutes that is, but I'll see. All right, we're going to try for 14 minutes and then uh, we're going to take it out and see if it flattened it out. All right, so I had to get back home because, man, the laundromat was just too loud. So let's see how the dryer flattened these things out. All right, so this is the one that was really bunched up that I showed you the first time now. It's nice and flat again. Um, the loop pile didn't move at all. Some of the cut pile pieces came up just a tad bit. I mean, you can kind of just simply cut those with, um, with some scissors or something like that. But this, this rug is not impact. Um, I didn't tough slowly just to kind of like uh, get this yarn impact. It was more of a fast tuft, so it made it more fluffy. So all the impact, so this is more impact. As you can see, it kind of stayed in there. Just some of them came up just a tad bit. But like I said, just go ahead and cut those. But the dryer did flatten it out. Look at that, man. Look at it. This right here was super dirty. I thought it was beige, but now you can kind of see the light pink. It probably looked white on the camera, but that's like a light pink. 
But yeah, man, that came out pretty good. Look at it. Look at us. Look at the backing. The backing's still there. Still on there. Still non-slip. Let's see if it's still non-slip. Yep, still non-slip, not moving. So it didn't take the grip away. But yeah, man. So overall, man, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully that answered a lot of questions about cleaning your rugs. You can machine wash them. But guess what? Tugs Rugs did these. So I can't speak for everyone's rug. Everyone make them a little different. Some people tough different. So, or they put their back in on different. Um, so, but my stuff, the way I do it, if you've been watching my videos, if you've been doing it kind of like, you know, learning from my videos, then yours should be good. So, um, I wish I could have tried it with a felt backing, but I don't use felt backing. So, um, hopefully that would stand still with the felt backing, but hopefully y'all enjoyed the video, man. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment at the bottom. But if you have any advice of cleaning rugs, comment at the bottom. Uh, I'll probably try to make a video or doing it your way if you do it like a hand wash or something like that. But who want to sit there and hand wash rugs? Um, just simply throw it in the washing machine. So that's why I really wanted to do this video. So don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and click that bell. See y'all on the next rug. Peace.